Cataractcoach.com, showing you an artificial iris. Guest surgeon, Professor Kevin Miller from Los Angeles. This is a very special video. Dr. Miller has a lot of experience in doing iris reconstruction and using these artificial iris implants of various designs. He's been doing this for more than 20 years. Dr. Miller was one of my very important professors and mentors in my training. So it's an honor to have a video from him here on cataractcoach.com. He's implanting the human optics artificial iris implant in this patient who had a significant degree of trauma. In the video here, he's already completed the cataract surgery, putting in a capsular tension ring and then putting a single piece acrylic lens in the capsular bag. Now this big implant that's going in, this artificial iris, will need to be placed in the sulcus. And that's not such a simple thing to do because it's very large. So it was injected in front of the iris and now it's gonna be positioned very carefully behind the remaining iris. So this is a neat technique where he's gonna use one hand with these micro graspers and the other hand, a manipulator, in order to get this big, humongous artificial iris placed behind the existing iris in the sulcus. So the placement of this is in the ciliary sulcus, and it needs to go behind whatever iris remnants are left in this patient. Now, fortunately, this device is flexible, and again, Kevin Miller has done hundreds of these patients. I've never personally used this implant, and I find it fascinating because Dr. Miller has such a vast experience and he's in my hometown of Los Angeles. It's just very easy for me to refer the patients to him. So now you see it looks great. The implant is now behind the existing iris. But that existing iris has been damaged. It's atrophic. It doesn't work. It doesn't move. And that dark uh, margin is going to cause a cosmetic issue. So this is a technique that Dr. Miller does where he uses a 23-gauge vitrector to very slowly go and trim away that remaining iris tissue, especially any dark pigment at the border, because that dark pigment at the border gives the appearance of not quite a normal eye. Now, in a brown-eyed person, this probably wouldn't matter much because it would be very difficult to see. But this is a patient who has very light blue eyes. The other eye in this patient is a very light blue color. And if we leave this dark pigment there, it'll be noticeable. So look how nicely it's cleaned up just by using that vitrector. Now you're not getting rid of all of the iris. We still need the iris there to form the sulcus. But it's just this margin here that Dr. Miller carefully removes that darkly pigmented edge. And that allows this new implant, the human optics artificial iris, to very nicely blend in with the remaining iris tissue. And the result's going to be very natural. So you can see about half it's done so far, and it looks just great. So nice and slowly here. I asked Dr. Miller about bleeding in these eyes, but he says because the iris is already damaged and atrophic, these tend to be ischemic tissues that don't really bleed much. There can be a little bit, as you see there, but it's usually not a significant concern. And now that he's done a th trimming 360 degrees with the vitrector, wow, it looks amazing. Now removing viscoelastic from the eye, the Tenno suture's already been placed in the main incision, and that looks great. So fortunately, we don't see these types of trauma cases too often, and if they do have this kind of trauma, there are options such as this artificial iris that gives a beautiful cosmetic result for the patient. Thank you for watching and thank you, Dr. Miller, for being a great mentor to me over the course of many years and a great mentor to so many other accomplished ophthalmologists. If you'd like to submit a video, please go to cataractcoach.com and click on the link and we'd love to feature your video too. Thanks for watching.